Hey guys, I felt a need to show you guys once again how to open and create your Google Slides and how to attach them in your Google Classroom and submit them as your work. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is click on your classwork. Okay, many of our assignments are Google Slides, so this is why I'm recreating this. So if you wanted to do your three branches of government one, that is uh, Tuesdays, you click on that. Click on view the assignment, it expands it open. You have your work over here. Now, um, you, let's say you've followed the directions, you've watched this, you're gonna create four Google Slides, a title page, and then the three branches, one for each branch, and what they do, what they are, what they do, attach your slides, turn it in. Okay, so two ways you could do this. Now, if you're gonna add or create, notice it says add or create. So if you're gonna add it on there, if you've already created it and you're gonna attach it from your Google Drive. Okay, so let's just uh, assume that this student has already made it. Uh, no, let's assume that they have not made it. So let's go ahead and make it. So if you make it right in here, it's already attached right in there, guys. So you click it, you open it, you create it, you submit it, very basic, okay? It even titles it for you, Zoe Cortez, Tuesday, blah, 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 blah. Three branches of government, it's already got a title for you. It couldn't get much easier. So your title, three branches of government. If you wanna get fancy, great. It does really make it look a lot nicer. Okay, you know that you're gonna to need to come over here, hit enter for another slide, hit enter for another slide, enter. So here's your uh, three branches of government title. Now obviously you can get a lot more fancier. This is a very fast tutorial, okay? And then you would go through each one of these and click in the new title of the branch and what they do. Okay, well, let's just assume it's all done, it's glorious. And now she's going to um, uh, just be done with that okay I think where some of maybe the confusion lies is like the present or the share you don't need to do any of those you actually because it's already attached and you opened and created it right from there you can just I don't even think you guys can see what I'm doing oh no you can just simply exit out at the top there you guys can see I just exited it out you can't see that because my arrow is not going there anyway and if you're not sure, if it, what did it save it? Did it save it? Click it, check it, boom, it's there. Remember, we're pretending as if she's all done. Um, you guys, of course, need to make sure you're done. So we're gonna exit out there, and literally all you gotta do is hit turn in, and yes, really turn it in, and it's all done. You created it right from there. Now, let's say that instead of, I'm just gonna unsubmit, okay? And submit because I'm going to show you another way also we're going to just going to exit out pretend she didn't create it right from there let's say she used her little apps in slides and she creates it from an outside app instead of writing the assignment that's totally fine too okay let's make it look a little different so that we can see that um, it's a different one than the one that she previously had done so I'm just gonna put a little something here. Let's, I don't really know, let's just do this. Sure, it's glorious. I just wanna show you guys that, um, okay. Three branches of government. Boom. Okay, let's assume again that she's in enter, enter, enter. She's got her four slides. She's completed them all. They're good to go. Now notice she is not titled. It doesn't automatically save it as a title. You have to, boom. Whatever is on your first slide, you can have it title it for you right there. Just click in that. Okay, cool. Done. Uh, let's assume she's done. Now, it auto saves. All changes are saved in where? In your drive, people. In your drive. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, I'm going to exit out. Oh, no, I didn't save. It saves it. But where? It's not here. Okay, now you're going to add. My file? No. Google Drive. Where was it saved, guys? In your Google Drive. So now she's going to have to click over here. And, uh, I mean, it's right. It's literally right there. But, I mean, you could go over here to recent. It's going to be right in recent. Or you could just, if, you if you're more organized and you have files that are already 
It's in your classroom. Now Zoe has a lot of things already uh, organized. Okay, she has her classroom folder. She has things organized in there. But you can just click on the file. Okay, look, look what it's doing, guys, right over here. It's saving it. Or I mean, attaching it, sorry. There it is, the different one, right? So it's already in there. Now I've attached it from my Google Drive. Now I can turn it in, turn it in. Yes, now it's really done. And you see how easy that is? So that's if you're doing it from a computer and really the Google Apps is still Google Apps. So no matter if you do it on a computer or if you do it on your apps, it's really the same format. It's the same because it's Google Classroom and it's Google Slides, it's Google Apps. So it's all the same way, guys. And so you could create it right into your assignment like we did before, or you can um, come up here or go into your apps and just on your um, phone or device or whatever and go to your apps and then click on the Google Slides. Now, of course, you have to have Google Slides and Google Classroom and Google Drive, all three of those apps already um, uh, downloaded from the Play Store or wherever on, if you're using a device. But then you'll still go to the apps. The apps look the same. You have your classroom, you have slides. Uh, you should have really have your Gmail too and your Drive and Docs even. Uh, even Meet too because we have Meets. All this is Google Apps and so everything is saved right in your Drive guys automatically. This is the beauty of the apps. They auto save. Okay. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you on here. Um, everything auto saves. Now if you want to get a little bit more organized, it already has a classroom folder created for you. And you can save, uh, what did we do, Miss Cortez's class. And you can see when you go in here, these are all the things that Zoe, this student, has created. Okay, so that's just how to um, do that. And I just wanted to share with you guys how to do that. And that's it. Um, I do want to go one other place real quickly while I have you on here about the math assignments. Some of you are confused about the math assignments. Classwork. Oh, the boxes won't work or whatever for math. So for math, let's say yesterday's math. Let's view the assignment from yesterday's. Here's the video you had to watch. There's your thing. And now you're going to go in here and you're going to look at uh, the math assignment. It's right here, she hasn't done it yet, okay? I attached the Google Slides in there already for you guys, and literally all you have to do is do it and turn it in. Some of you are just hitting turned in. No, you're getting zero. So you gotta do the work, okay? There's no getting around it, guys. So it'll open up, it'll look like this. You've gotta sit and do the math. You can do it on notebook paper, you could just do it here. Uh, but just know that, and then you you see this little funky looking arrows? You double click. You double click. You see that blinking line? That means you can write in there now. Now if you've done the problem, you'll know that it's working backwards, right? So if you have like 12 point something, that has to be your final answer. So you have to do the math. So it'd be like, you know, on a piece of paper or wherever, you could just do it. You can also even print this out. You can do it on notebook paper, whatever you want, and then type in your answers in here. So 2 plus 9 is going to be 11. Okay, but I'm going to put my error over here. Now I have 11, I would have regrouped up here. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus one more is another 11. Got it there. Uh, now this thing is kind of in my way, right? So um, get out of the way, but if you start doing that, guess what? You're going to alter your text box, so don't click on that. Okay, if you need to see the problem more, you just click out of it. And then don't forget you've regrouped over here, so it's really a four now, because three plus one would be four. So nine plus four is what, guys? Nine plus four is 13. So okay, you can click again in here. There's your 13. You're gonna regroup your one up here above this two. Two plus one is three, and one is four. Put it, I'm putting my arrow to make it go in front of that. Now it's 43, is it 4,311? No, there is decimal, the whole thing is decimals. So 43 and 11 hundredths. Okay, done with that one. And so you just continue to do that. You don't share it, you don't do any of that. Again, you exit out, it auto saves. If I was to click back into Zoe's work here, you would see it saves it. 
So you, you literally exit out, guys, and it saves it. And then when it's all done, then you would turn it in. Yes, really turn it in. And that's it, guys. Um, the apps are going to work exactly the same no matter if you're using um, a computer or um, a device of some kind. Um, now your boxes, I'm not sure how the boxes would work on a device. I'm assuming it works the same way. Either way, you can always, if you're more comfortable, do it on notebook paper and take a very clear picture and submit it or save it in your Google Drive and um, add it on here and submit it that way. Um, so if you accidentally hit submit on a blank paper and you're getting a zero for it. Um, I've sent notices, so you guys need to make sure they're getting turned in correctly. You add or attach right from your Google Drive if you're going to save it there. Okay, right into there. Go into wherever you just were. Look, it even saves the math right in there. So if you're confused about that, you can attach it that way. You don't really need to. It's already in there. Look, file already attached. Dismiss. Okay, so that's how it works. I hope you um, learned something new. Okay, bye.